Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Michael Hayes and we are currently helping you guys out there prepare for the Texas EC6 Subject Core Exam. We are currently looking at science. In this episode, we're specifically looking at the cell theory coming up next. Okay, so if this is your first opportunity to watch these videos, I have a series of these that I started just a couple weeks ago. You can check those out right here by clicking on this card. This will take you to my playlist that has all the previous episodes as well as upcoming episodes in this series. If you cannot see the card that I pointed at, you can check out the description below and I will have that linked as well, as well as other resources to help you out as you prepare for the EC6 exam. So one thing about my videos is I'm just doing five minute segments of lessons and they're very specific to the subject. So make sure you look at the description and the title of the video to help you out. Those will also be in the playlist to be specifically uh, targeted towards your needs. So you don't have to watch the whole series, you can just uh, target down to the areas where you need assistance. So let's go ahead and start with five minutes on the clock and you will see that up here in the corner. And when it ticks down to five minutes, we will stop the video and we will pick up the next one in, the, in a future episode, okay? So let's go ahead and start with five minutes on the clock. Okay, so we're going to start with the history of science a little bit as we get into the cell theory. So basically, the science uh, is a content study began centuries ago as people began to ask questions about the world and environments in which they lived. Some of the earliest people seeking questions were early philosophers such as Aristotle, Plato, and Archimedes. The ongoing search for knowledge has expanded into subfields of modern science such as biology, physics, chemistry, geology, and astronomy to name a few. Biology came about uh, with the invention of the microscope and the study of cells over 330 years ago. The major takeaway in this lesson is the cell theory, as you will need to have a basic understanding of this theory and some of the scientists and their contributions as you study for the Texas EC6 exam. So the cell theory began with two Dutch spectacle makers by the name of Hans and Zacharias Janssen, who produced the first compound microscope in 1595, when they placed two compound lenses in a rigid tube, permitting them to observe nearly invisible objects, but they were not with much clarity, they were pretty fuzzy. Okay, later a Dutch biologist by the name of Antoni von Leeuwenhoek improved the microscope between the 1660s and 70s with more refined lenses and focal lengths, permitting better image quality. During this time, he actually produced 50 different types of microscopes. Through his improved microscopes, he was able to see very small microorganisms living in pond water, along with sperm cells from a variety of different organisms. Von Leeuwenhoek is credited with the invention of the microscope due to the improvements he made over his predecessors, Hans and Zacharias Janssen. Another early scientist by the name of Robert Hooke at the time was an Englishman who observed dead cork cells from the bark of a cork tree. He coined the term cell that we use today to describe the images of the dead plant cell walls that appeared to him like cell walls where monks lived in monasteries or where prisoners lived in roofs if roofs were taken off of the buildings. Robert Hooke is most credited with this discovery of cells. One sure way to remember his name as you prepare for your exam is Hook took a look. Over time, other scientists continued to contribute to the understanding of cells. Matthias Jacob Schleiden was a German botanist in 1838 that published his findings that all embryonic plant cells began as a single cell and the cell itself was the building block of all plants. Theodore Schwann was a German biologist in 1838 that concluded that both animal and plants were composed of cells. In 1855, Rudolf Virchow, a German physician, was experimenting with diseases and came to the conclusion that all cells arise from other cells. The combination of these famous scientist theories and conclusions is currently the basis of the cell theory. We can summarize the cell theory in three major steps. Number one, cells make up all living things. Number two, the basic units of all structure and function is the cell. And then number three, living cells can only come from other living cells. There are two major categories of cells. The first one is the prokaryotes. They have no membrane-bound nucleus to hold together their DNA. They are single-cell organisms. 
They do not utilize mitosis or meiosis for replication. Rather, they utilize asexual reproduction by making exact copies of themselves. Examples of prokaryotes are bacteria. They're pretty simple cells, and according to the theory, they give rise to more complex cells. So eukaryotes are the second and in the most complex category. They have a true nucleus containing their DNA. They are multicelled. They undergo cell growth and repair, and organisms reproduce through sexual reproduction, providing for diverse traits within their offspring. Eukaryote cells are the living structures that make up the plants and animals in our world today. Okay, so let's look and see how much time we have. We have about 31 seconds. So the takeaways in this are, know the three uh, main components of the cell theory. And the two scientists that I mentioned earlier, the ones you probably need to know most, are von Leeuwenhoek with the invention of the microscope and Robert Hooke who came up with the term cell that we use today. Those two guys may very well show up in questions on your exam as you prepare. So all the other guys, you may be familiar with them and their contribution, but those two guys, von Leeuwenhoek and, and, and Hooke himself, are the two major players when it comes to the cell theory. All right, that gives us a stop here. Okay, so that's right there at five minutes. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. If you have not caught uh, previous episodes, feel free to check out my playlist like I mentioned in the description below. Also, just a takeaway, if you are enjoying these videos, if they are helping, please leave a comment. I will be happy to get back with you, and uh, thank you for leaving a comment. Also, if you have questions, please leave those before uh, below. And uh, I thank you for watching. I hope that you will take time to subscribe. Also, click the notification bell to make sure you're aware of upcoming episodes in this series as well as other videos that I create. I have lots of varieties of videos on my channel. I, I do hope you'll visit. Check that out. And I hope to see you again soon on Mr. Hayes' YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.